everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to a what i wore in a week video so this is going to be a video of seven outfits seven winter outfits that you can wear right now i'm going to film them all in one go instead of picking up the camera each day so it is kind of just like a styling video but i'm just going to film it in the mirror so it's got the same setup as one of my what i wore in a week videos it is quite chilly today actually i walked maple this morning and it was i think minus one on our walk and there was a really sharp frost so hopefully these outfits will keep you warm over the next week or so because i do think that the temperatures are going to stay this cold so we need to wrap up warm so this is outfit number one i actually wore this on tuesday this week i'm filming this video on what is it today? thursday i wore this on tuesday i went to soho farmhouse with my mum for her birthday i took her there for an overnight stay which was so lovely and this is the outfit that i wore there like today it was quite chilly so i wrapped up fairly warm this coat is from under the stories i've worn it a couple of times on my channel before christmas and i absolutely adore it it's a beautiful grey brushed wool coat with this built-in scarf so i have one end of the scarf obviously just hanging down and then i've popped the other half over my shoulder but the quality of this coat is just unreal i also love the shape of it you can see it's slightly nipped in at the waist here and the sleeves are a little exaggerated so it's a little bit more interesting than kind of a regular square shaped coat i love shorter coats at the moment this winter i've been wearing them so much more than my longer tailored coats they're a little bit different add a different dynamic to my outfits and also they let me show off the bottom half of my outfits because often a nice long coat covers up the whole outfit so it's nice to have something a bit shorter this coat was i would say an investment piece it's kind of the higher end of what i normally spend on coats i think it was around 200 and 30 pounds as i said it's from and other stories but i ordered it off the h&m website i think i had a few points to use so i might have even got money off i don't know i can't remember exactly but i ordered it from the h&m website i got it in a size small and it fits beautifully this is quite a warm coat but i have got a few layers on underneath i've just got a plain black thermal turtleneck this is just from h&m i've got a couple of these from different places fantastic basics for in the winter i also wore a cream vest underneath that as well when i wore this outfit on monday just so i would be extra warm then the bottom half of the outfit just consists of my zara wide leg trousers i have had these for years they're just a fab shape great length as well not too long if i lift up my coat you can see they have a zip and button fastening and belt loops as well two things that i love on a pair of trousers wide leg trousers especially so these are old so they're no longer available from zara but i have a fantastic pair from h&m and abercrombie as well so i will leave one of those linked down below on my feet i have my original adidas sandals Ambers. these have become a lot more popular in my wardrobe recently i have the adidas specials and i also have the gazelles in a chocolate brown as well but i have definitely been reaching for the original sambas a little bit more i just feel like they go with so much i thought the gray on the front matched the gray of the coat quite nicely and just kind of toned down the look a bit. It could have been heading towards quite a formal smart outfit, especially if I'd have worn this with pointed toed boots, but I think the chainers just bring it down that notch, make it into a comfy casual outfit. Bag wise, I have gone with my Demelia London bag. Love this bag, such a great everyday bag. Nice shape, it's a little bit bigger than some of my others, so fits a little bit more. I love how it fits on my shoulder nicely. With this coat, there's quite a lot going on with the scarf, so I just want Wanted something that I can just put on my shoulder not have to worry about so the Demelia bag is perfect for that so this is outfit number one nice and comfy and casual I showed this coat in my winter capsule wardrobe and you guys loved it some of you even said that you went and bought it after seeing it on my video so happy I hope you guys love it as much as I do it's been one of my favorite coats over the last couple of months since I bought it I've worn it as well with a little mini skirt and tights and knee-high boots as well and so there are quite a few variations and ways to style it so outfit number two I don't think I have shown you guys this boucle gilet yet but 
I absolutely love it. I got it from New Look and I actually got it in the Black Friday sales and it's so cute and so soft and just a really nice kind of jacket when I don't want to wear a full on coat and I want to wear something a little bit lighter. Perhaps not amazing for when it's minus one, but when it's a little bit warmer, you can definitely layer up underneath and this makes for such a cute outfit. So yeah, I got this gilet from New Look. I got it in the Black Friday sale. It's super affordable and I think I got it in a size medium. So it's a little bit oversized. The jumper underneath is one of my favorites from Pretty Lavish. I love these jumpers, a really nice roll neck and I love the split sleeve detail. Also have this jumper in black as well and they do it in a few other colors, a beige I think and they're just super handy and because they're a little bit more oversized like I said you can really layer up underneath these if you want some extra warmth. Then on the bottom half I have my black wide leg Zara jeans. These unfortunately are not available online anymore. I did get them quite a while ago but I have as always found some similar ones for you. And then on my feet I have my black patent boots. Again, super old but similar ones linked as always. And then I have my little YSL sac de jour with me as well. I just think this is such a cute and cosy outfit and I can't wait until it's a little bit warmer so I can really get my wear out of this gilet. I think that's why I haven't shown it to you guys yet because it's just been a bit too chilly to wear it on its own but I really wanted to style it up for this video so I have. This would also look great with a black jumper underneath as well. Obviously the jumper and the gilet are not the same colouring. The gilet's almost got like a pink tinge to it which I wasn't sure about at first but once it's on it looks much better. But yeah, black jumper underneath this would also work super well. Now that I've just put this look on, I want to keep it on all day because I feel so super cozy. So I've got my new coat on. This is from Zara and my mum bought it for me for Christmas. It's a really nice like brushed wool camel, more of like a light beige actually than a camel. And it's a lovely length, beautiful shape. It's just a really easy throw on coat. Nice and oversized as well so you can really layer up underneath it. I have my reserved grey knit jumper on underneath which I love. Really nice basic fab colour as well. Also have my Celine beanie on. Very cute winter accessory. It was one of my birthday presents to myself and I'm going skiing next month so I'll be very excited to whip this out whilst I'm in the snow. Unfortunately I don't think they do this colourway anymore but they do do it in a really nice sand colour so I will leave that linked down below but this is the grey one in case anybody is wondering. Obviously it looks grey but the colour is called grey on the website. Got my favourite weekday row jeans, really nice straight leg in the colour summer blue, antelope Uggs. I was going to put my chestnut Uggs on with this outfit but I just think the antelope goes better with the grey. Got my little mini coach tabby bag as well and it's just such a cosy look. I feel very warm in it. I think wearing a hat makes all the difference. They say don't they a lot of heat escapes at the top of your head so having a little beanie on really does keep you so much warmer. But I love this look. No black in sight so a nice kind of winter neutrals colour palette. Really comfortable as well and really easy to recreate with items that you guys probably have in your wardrobe already. So next up we have an all black look. You can't go wrong in my opinion. I love wearing all black, especially in the winter. Majority of this outfit is my lovely Zara tailored wool coat. I got this a couple of years ago, but they do have the same one I think online currently. They bring out kind of a new version of this every year and it's really nice it's a gorgeous shape lovely and tailored double breasted really nice length i probably could get away with it being i don't know maybe a couple of inches longer but i just love it as an overcoat it goes with everything it's super smart if you want something like this as part of your workwear wardrobe i've got it in a size extra small i probably would have got a small but i've had it years and when i bought this i wasn't really too into oversized I was more into kind of fitted clothes so I just got an extra small but I do think a small 
perhaps would be better for layering. I've just got something thin underneath. I've got that same black uh, roll neck. It's kind of like a thermal. This one is from H&M. Really great basic, as I said before. And then on the bottom half, I've just got a little mini skirt. This one is from Naked, and it's got a little asymmetric split down one side as well. It's just, again, a good basic. If I ever want to wear tights and boots or tights and loafers, as I am today, then this little mini skirt is a lifesaver. My tights are 15 denier, I think, from Marks and Spencers. Really good tights. I love them. They're a really nice kind of black grey shade on your leg rather than coming up sometimes slightly navy as a lot of tights do. So I really like them. Nice and hard wearing also. I love to do this coat up. I think it looks so smart when it's done up double breasted. Uh, then on my feet I have my Prada loafers which I haven't actually worn in a very long time. I do love these but as I was putting this look together I was thinking I probably need to get some loafers with some gold hardware, maybe like a gold buckle or something instead of the silver. When I bought these I never really wore silver hardware and I think that's why I struggle to style them because I just always go for gold and obviously that would match the gold on my new Celine Triumph bag which I am obsessed with. I've been wearing it non-stop. It's still got the plastic on this logo here because I'm trying to keep it nice for as long as possible so I'm going to keep that on probably the next couple of times I wear it and then eventually I will take it off but, but yeah this is a lovely all black look again really smart so good for workwear and you can layer with this you could always put a thicker knit over the top of this one and scarf and hat and gloves and all of that as well to keep yourself extra warm so next up we have a very cozy outfit I've got my fur coat on this is from oak and fort and i love it it's super cozy really warm and i've been wearing it a lot this winter i love the coloring of it and the shape as well it's just a great throw on jacket i've gone for a very simple base underneath and just let the coat do all the work it's a very easy outfit to throw together and this base is something that i refer back to through a lot of outfits. So I have a chunky black roll neck on underneath the coat. This one is from H&M. It's got a really nice thick neck, which I love. It's got a little bit of a longer length as well, which is really good. You can keep it untucked like I have, or you can tuck it into jeans, skirts, trousers, and it's just a great basic. Really good to layer underneath as well. I got it in a size medium, so I'd have that extra room to pop a few maybe thermals or vest tops underneath it if I need to. I've got the same black Zara jeans on, same black patent boots and YSL bag as well. So re-wearing a lot of the same outfits as the previous look, but just mixing it up a little bit with coat and jumper and creating a different feel. Also, I would happily swap out these boots for a pair of trainers like my Sambas. I think this look would work well as a more casual outfit as well. So this is one of my favorite outfits at the moment. As much as I love wearing black in the winter time, I love wearing creams and neutrals as well. So we've got a little cream and chocolate brown scenario going on here. This jacket is one of my favorite jacket purchases from this season. It's an aviator style in this chocolate brown color. It's a really nice shape. It's really easy to wear. It goes with so much. It's super comfortable. And again, it's a great throw on coat. I keep using that phrase, but this is just perfect to put over almost any outfit. I dress it down all the time over the top of leggings and tracksuits, but it also looks great like this in a smart casual way. I've worn it before with a black jumper and leggings and knee high boots. It's so versatile and it's just a beautiful jacket. It's so cozy and warm as well because it's fleece lined. So amazing for this time of year. It's gonna keep you very, very warm. So underneath we've gone for a cream base. I have on this Pretty Lavish jumper again. I did try tucking it into the trousers and maybe it looks better, I'm not sure. I've, I'm just gonna leave it untucked for now because it's more comfortable like that. But I think the fact that it's longer than the jacket is throwing me off slightly. But I do love this jumper. You've already seen it before in this video. I won't talk about it too much. The trousers are a beautiful pair of cream drawstring trousers. These are from Theory. 
amazing quality a really nice color they go so nicely with the jumper itself and because they're a drawstring they're really comfortable and not too formal so if i was to tuck in the jumper and you were able to see the drawstring or the elasticated waistband then it kind of makes the look a little bit more casual as i said they're really comfy and they are expensive for a pair of trousers but i've got my wear out of them and i've worn them ever such a lot not only in the winter but obviously they'll be perfect for spring and summer as well again i've just popped on my adidas sambas as i said i am falling back in love with these trainers and i just feel like they worked best with this outfit i do have the adidas gazelles in a chocolate brown color which in theory you might think would work quite well with the jacket in the bag but it just looked a bit strange with like a dark shoe coming out of a cream trouser so i stuck with the lighter color i think it just works better and then finally my new favorite piece obviously i still love my celine bag but this arrived today and i'm obsessed with it it is the new york midi bag i think from demelier in this beautiful chocolate brown color it's called mocha on the website but it is such a gorgeous bag i have been after one of these for so long i love the shape they are just beautiful bags you guys know i've had my london bag from de Bellier for a long time i've used it so much and i love the quality so they're a brand that i adore and they very kindly sent me this one and i unboxed it this morning and of course had to put it with this outfit it's not an exact match to the coat but doesn't bother me too much i just love this bag i'm so excited by it and the final look of this video is something really nice and comfy and casual this is actually what i'm going to be wearing tomorrow to drive down to bournemouth it's really nice and warm and cozy would be great for like a winter walk as well so i've got on this oversized coat from pretty lavish it's a really nice like boucle material i don't know how well you can see that there we go but it's really nice and soft and fluffy and just a really cozy coat underneath we're very casual i've got on my cos white t-shirt which you can just see poking through the top here and my arquette alpaca wool jumper so a nice little bit of layering going on there my black another version uh, second skin leggings these are my favorite leggings i wear them all the time you guys know that and then of course adenola socks and sambas on my feet and i've got my celine bag just crossbody nice and tight i've hinged it up a bit so it's a bit higher as well but this look is so comfy really nice and warm i went oversized in this coat actually i got a size medium instead of a small just so i could layer up underneath it like i have done here but yeah the perfect weekend look i love 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 this outfit so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed seeing seven january outfits i hope i will be posting this in january actually it might be nearly february by the time i post this but obviously these looks can be taken through to february and probably march as well let me know in the comments down below what your favorite look was and if you want to see more of this style of video where i just show you loads of outfits all in one go as always if you have any suggestions for my content then leave that in the comments as well and i will try my best to film it for you if you did enjoy this video it would be amazing if you could give it a thumbs up if you are new to my channel i would absolutely love it if you could hit the subscribe button and i will see you all very soon in my next video bye